All right, ladies and gentlemen, this is your Yankee Messiah here with you. Of course, your Sultan of SWAT when it comes to Yankee baseball talk here on YouTube.com. And, of course, your premier destination for it as well. So, I got a couple of topics that I want to get into um, in this uh, audio here. But, really the news that came out today. Aroldis Chapman, because if there's any other situation with a player who doesn't show up for a workout right before you start your postseason journey and they're left off the roster, it is a very bad situation for the New York Yankees. And... It's all because of Aroldis Chapman. And you know what? I'm going to be honest with you, y'all. This is the best news that I've heard so far today. I'm actually happy about it. Because I don't have to see this guy who I have said about this season scares me. When he pitches. The guy is fucking trash. And. Right now. It's one of the. Big fears. Going into. This postseason for the Yankees. Especially if the Yankees. They're in this big spot. Where they have to hold on to the lead. Like we saw it last night. With the Blue Jays. No lead is safe. They had a 9-1 lead. And what happened? They gave up 9 runs to the Seattle Mariners. And they lost that game. Everybody knew that he had to go. I've been saying it here in the videos. The live podcast. And I guess missing a practice session, that was the nail in the coffin. And when it came to this roster, because, you know, I was going to plan on doing a podcast. I, I might still do it tomorrow. But... It was definitely up in the air that um, Chapman was going to make this uh, roster. But there was a worry because Zach Britton, he's on the I.L. Maniaccio, he's on the I.L. And I'm like, watch, this guy's going to find a way to get into this postseason roster. Just because we don't have two guys... In the bullpen right now. So. My guess is that. He thought like you know what. I'm off the roster. And. You fucked up. You fucked up big time. Good fucking riddance. I do not want to see this fucking loser. On my fucking team anymore. Don't let the door hit you on the ass on the way out. So fucking happy to hear about this. All right. A couple of uh, things that I want to talk about. Cleveland Guardians. That series that they had with the Rays. I was impressed with the Cleveland Guardians. Holding the Rays to one run in 15 innings. Early prediction for that series with the Yankees. I have a hunch that the Yankees will beat them. And they'll go to the ALCS. But 
That's not going to diminish Terry Francona's body of work this season alone. Because when you look at the Guardians, the Guardians were not even supposed to be in the postseason this year. They went on and won 92 games. They had this hot streak going into the final weeks of the season. And they win the Central Division. I'll go on and say it right now. Terry Francona, to me, is the manager of the year for the American League. Second place, Dusty Baker. And I'll say uh, Brandon Hyde from the Baltimore Orioles. Third place. Especially with what he did with Baltimore in the second half of the season. And had that team contend. And they went on to win, what, 83 games. So, that's just my thoughts on this, guys, man. I'm getting ready to watch some football. That's why um, this is a audio here today. But, Catman... You can go fuck yourself, like I said about a minute or two ago. Alright, peace.